Hello guys, this is Dustin and welcome to another episode in this Lua programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be covering uh, something that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be cover covering something called meta tables and basically what they're used for and stuff like that. So first up, what is a meta table? Well basically it's just a plain table that changes the properties and behaviors of another table. So for instance, let's say we have a, uh, I don't know, just a table of some sort. And let's say we want to call the table like a function. Alright, that's kind of weird. Normally you can't do that. If I run this right now, it's going to give me an error. Um, but I can basically, I can basically give it behaviors and stuff like that, that allow this to happen. So it's pretty, it's very useful. Let me, let me give you a good example of what, one thing that's actually really useful for. So let's create a vector2 function, right? And what this is going to do is return a table. Say x is equal to x or 0. Um, y is equal to y or 0. Um, and if you haven't seen the syntax yet, the uh, this or operator basically says um, this x is either equal to x. Otherwise, if x is null, then set it equal to 0. Um, and later on, I'm going to have a video kind of covering these cool Lua tricks and stuff like that. But for now, we're... Um, for now, yeah, that's just what it does. There's a simple explanation of it. So we're gonna create, let's create two tables. All right. And then let's print a dot x, uh, or let, let's let's create a local C, make it equal to a vec2 of zero, zero. And let's just print C dot x, C dot y. All right, so if we just run it, we're gonna see, um, no. Oh. There we go. We're going to see 0, 0 right here. All right. So let's make it so that we can say C is equal to A plus B. Because right now, this is going to give us a warning. All right. So let's create a meta table. Now remember, tables are just plain, or meta tables are just plain tables. All right. So we're going to say back to meta. Now, what does this table do? So in here, this is where we're going to configure the properties of this vector2 table. I'm actually going to make this a uh, local v right here, and I'm going to say return v. So what you have to do is you take you, you you define your meta table, and then you have to apply that meta table to uh, to the table that you want to change the properties to. And to do that, it, there's a method called set meta table, right? So the first argument is the table you want to augment, and the second argument is the uh, is the uh, meta table. Now, what this this actually returns a value, but what it returns is the is the augmented array. But since um, arrays in Lua or tables in Lua get passed in by reference, uh, we don't necessarily need to capture that right now. Though later on, there are examples where you actually would want to um, capture the uh, whatever is returned by this meta table. Anyway, so we we ran, run this and nothing happens. Um, the only thing that happens is it gives us an error because of this code down here. So let's change it so that when we add two vectors together they actually add properly so to do that we're gonna define a meta method alright so this meta method is gonna be add and it takes in two arguments and that's it so this is basically operator overloading so if you're familiar with other programming languages like C++ this is um, basically how you would override the add operator and there's many different other operators uh, there's the sub, uh, div, and multiply, um, uh, mul, for all stuff like that. There's also left shift, right shift, and stuff like that. Um, I'll let you guys go and look at all the specific meta methods out there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna cover a few of them. So we're gonna return a. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna predefine this up here. We're gonna return a new uh, vector 2 with the result of a plus b. So a plus b, by the way, are the two. So if we have the operator um, plus, right, we have value 1 on the left, so that's going to be a, and then value right on, on the, the far right value would be b, right? And that gets passed into here. And we're basically describing what happens when you try to add these two vectors together. So we're going to say a dot x plus b dot x, a dot y plus b dot y. All right, so now in theory this should work, and this should return us uh, 33 and then 3. So let's run this, and we get 33 and 3. 
so you can actually you can do this for um again sub so let's let's do a sub or actually let's keep this method and let's paste it in here all right so now we're doing a subtraction and we can test this out so we're gonna print it we're gonna I'm gonna yank that and I'm gonna uh, do it again but this time a subtraction and we'll see that uh, attempt to perform arithmetic on oh shoot okay gotta change this to sub alright there we go so you can see that it actually worked um, so that's very cool um, okay so let's say we want to call a table like a function so let's say that when we call this it's just gonna print out the values all right so we can override some a the uh, the meta method called call and the meta method takes in itself so this uh, what self would be right here is this table the table that you're changing and then uh, arguments so I think it's just uh, we'll, we'll talk about the argument syntax later but um, I think actually let's just say uh, it doesn't take in any arguments and then what's gonna do is gonna print um, Let's just print some formatted uh, stuff. Let's just do that. Um, self dot x. Concatenate that together with a comma. Do that again for self dot y. All right. So now when we try to call any of these uh, tables right here that have been changed that have the meta uh, meta table back to meta. When we try to call that, it will print it out. So we can do um, C, and then A, and then B. All right, so let's run that. And we can see that it successfully printed those out. Now, so a lot of times, we want to convert our structures and our, oops, our tables to strings. Um, and when you call print, it actually attempts to turn the, uh, the table that you're augmenting, this table right here, into a string. So we have to define a way to do that so that we can just print the table directly without doing this um, this syntax right here. So we can override the two string uh, meta table or meta method, sorry. And that again takes in self. Um, and instead of printing this, we're going to return this. So now what we can do is we can try we can do a print to string C. And of course that works, but since print automatically converts uh, the table to a string, we can just pr directly print it. Now remember, if we didn't have this to string meta method, so let me comment this out. And then if I run this, it's gonna print out the address of the table instead of the table itself. All right. So uh, the last one I'm gonna show you today. There are a few more, but the last one I'm going to show you today, just before I go into some cool usage that you can do with this, is the index operator. So let me let me remove these, or the index meta method, sorry. So what the index is, is whenever you try to index a table, so let's say uh, local my table is equal to 1, 2, 3, whenever you do my table 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, this actually calls the uh, underscore underscore index meta method. So we can actually override what happens. All right, so we can say function, so it takes in itself and then it takes in an index. Um, and this index variable right here can actually take in either two things. It can take in a table that it will uh, index into, or it will take in a, um, whoops, uh, a function with a self and then an index. So now we can say, I'm gonna say set meta table to my table back to meta and I'm going to delete this code down here all right so now when we try to index this we, let's just print out the index so uh, right here we see that the index is 2 so if we print that um, it should have printed 2 oh 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 sorry this is new index so we just want to say print try printing this all right now it prints 2 there's actually another meta method I'm going to show you, and this is new index. So whenever we try to uh, index a value that hasn't been already attempted to be looked, or hasn't already been indexed, or when we try adding a, va a value to an index, 
this method will be called. So we can say, um, let's again print index. And let's try doing a my method, or my table, sorry. 3 is equal to hello. And um, we'll see that when we do that, it'll print it out. When we print out a value that's not in the table. Okay, so the last thing we're going to cover today um, is something that uh, meta tables are really useful for. So um, we're going to implement a function that basically makes a table constant. So why is it important to have constant table? So a lot of times we have these values that in Lua that we don't want to change, right? So let's say we have gravity, or let's say we have player speed, right? A lot of times we just want to access these va values, these constants, and not change them. But in Lua, we can we can of course just do uh, we may accidentally change a value and um, not realize it. So let's say we're trying to say if gravity is equal to 2 then do this but we accidentally miss out a double equals sign. Well this is just gonna work. Lou is not gonna care. It's not gonna give us a warning or anything like that. Or let's say we want to change gravity or let's better example let's say we're gonna set um, the velocity vy equal to gravity but we accidentally misspell it. Alright we accidentally have an extra w there. Well this is just gonna work. And now if we print vy, this is going to be null. There we go. See, this is null. Now, so imagine if your player, um, you're setting a y position to a constant. Well, now the y position is going to be uh, null, and you're not going to be able to see it. And of course, I'm, I'm talking about this as if I was a uh, game developer or something. This is very useful for all fields, though. Um, so let's actually make it so that when we try to access this constant, it throws an error, or if we try to access a constant that the variable, if there's a variable that doesn't exist in there, um, then we're going to throw an error. So let's do this. Let's create a new function. Let's name this const. Const is going to take in a tab table, um, and then let's call constant on this function. All right. And uh, of course, this is going to return, const is going to return null. So let's actually, um, let's just return table. So for now, nothing has changed. Let's let's create our little tests here. Let's say gravity is equal to 10, and then uh, local vy equal to constants. Let's say let's set it equal to player speed uh, with an extra d at the end. All right, so this is just, this is gonna still work. So let's create a uh, meta table. All right. Now in here, we're going to actually override the index meta method right here, and we're going to pass in table, or we're going to set it to equal to table. So whenever we, uh, so whenever we try to index the, me uh, the the augmented table, it's going to route through the table that is passed in. And because of this, we can do something a little bit clever. We can say set uh, meta table. We're going to set the meta table onto an empty array or met empty table. Um, so whenever we try to index this empty table that gets returned, it's going to go through the table that is passed in here. The next one we're going to um, uh, override is the new index. New index takes the table itself, a key, and then a value. Now remember, new index is whenever we try to set a value that doesn't exist, or we're trying to index a value that doesn't exist. That's when this new index is going to uh, fire. So we're going to just throw an error because we don't want to change the value. So attempted to modify const table. Um, and then let's also pass in the key and the value so it's a little bit easier to search for when we try to debug this. All right. So we're getting somewhere. We say that, uh, uh oh, number expected got string. Uh, let's do this. Let's concat something together. Um, okay, so we, we caught one of the errors. Attempt to modify the constant table gravity. Um, so that's good. We caught one of the errors. And actually, there's one more thing that's actually just a safeguard. Um, and I don't understand it completely. But um, we're just going to set this to equal to false. Um, okay, so uh, it caught one of the errors. But it still, uh, when we try to set the value, but it still allows us to have mistyped um, indexes and stuff like that. So we're going to have to do a little bit more work. So instead of um, passing in table, we're going to pass in, we're going to write our own index function. And remember, this takes in a self and then a key. And what we're going to say is if uh, table 
at index key is equal to nil, so if the value doesn't exist, then we're going to throw an error. Attempted to, let's just do access a non-existent field. You can write better error messages than this. I'm just doing this for uh, time's sake. Otherwise, let's just return table at key. All right, so now this should work if we do this. Um, uh oh, so we have a syntax error. Let's fix this. Oh, let's. Uh, we forgot the return keyword. All right, so now uh, it actually warns us when we attempt to index the uh, wrong operator, or when we try to index the wrong field, field that doesn't exist. So both these work. Um, of course, though, we can access. Let's just print. Let me move the screen up a little bit. Uh, we can actually access player speed if we type it incorrectly, and it will work. So that's very useful for us. Um, and a quick thing I just want to mention is that in Lua, I'll, I'll have this in a tips and tricks video later, but you actually, if you're just passing in a table, you don't need the parentheses there. And that just makes the syntax just a little bit nicer, and it'll still run perfectly. Anyway guys, that has been my video on metatables. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and then maybe I'll make a follow-up video going into maybe a little bit more detail of all of this. It's kind of hard to explain. A lot of people consider this to be an advanced topic. Um, I don't consider it that, I like, I, it's, it's, it's simple once you understand it. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.